<laughs> so here it is. This is the Flying Squirrel. It is based on the preamp of the Little Squirrel Amp, which was designed for Alan Mulder. Lots of people have asked, could you make it as a pedal? On this pedal, there isn't an amp function because the EL84 is in the preamp. We've got Les here today. He's going to play some guitar and I'm going to twiddle some knobs and make some noise. <laughs> These controls are very similar in function to the big trees. So we've got gain, low EQ, high EQ, then the kind of dirt maker. That is the overall output level for this effect. And then this is the clean side. Uh, works similarly to the big trees clean. That switches between those two. <laughs> These switches, they pertain to the EL84 and that's what makes all the squirrely stuff happen. So this one is an EQ switch, so in the middle it's completely flat. Up to the top there's a high boost. down the bottom, that's low boost. Then this one is governing whether the EL84 runs as a triode or pentode, so up is pentode, down is triode. This switch is another gain. Those are allowing a load of current to flow in the L84. And because of the way that it's running, when the, a load of current runs through it, it shuts the valve down. And so is, it's not able to you know, work in the way that it wants to work. Right. And so, it's not amplifying and it's just pushing square waves out of it and then once you stop playing through it it kind of opens back up again and you hear the hear the noise floor come up yeah i just love that kind of crushed compressed like ah <laughs> How does it work with the real, that real gated sound, with a lower gain? With a lower gain? Is that you end up getting a kind of ring modded thing, because the notes, normally it will be the, the bass note modulating the higher strings if you're playing more than one string at a time. Yeah. You can hear that. And that's interesting actually because I mean I don't I don't know a huge amount about ring modulators, but normally it sounds really atonal because the thing the wave that's modulating the note is just fixed. Mm -hmm. And so as soon as you get out of the key of that thing that's modulating, it just sounds really horrible and un unusable. But on this, obviously you're likely to be playing chords or at least notes in the same it's scale. Really in that same scale yeah. So although it sounds a bit weird, it's it's always in the scale, so it's yeah. less weird than just a fixed tone modulating all of the notes. <laughs>